Tanya, and you're watching Wise Geek. Today, I'm going to discuss about circulatory system. Circulatory system, or the cardiovascular system, is an organ system that permits blood to circulate and transport nutrients, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and blood cells to and from the cells of the body. The following are the important terms used in circulatory system. First is the left atrium. It is the upper left chamber of the heart that receives the oxygenated blood from the lungs. Left ventricle is the lower left chamber of the heart that receives blood from the left atrium. Right atrium. It is the upper right chamber of the heart that receives the oxygenated blood from the body. Pulmonary artery. It carries the oxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs. Pulmonary vein are large blood vessels that receives oxygenated blood from the lungs. Aorta, it is the main artery that carries blood from the left ventricle of the heart. Systemic circulation, it carries oxygenated blood away from the heart to the body and returns the oxygenated blood into the heart. Pulmonary circulation, it carries the oxygenated blood away from the heart to the lungs and returns oxygenated blood back to the heart. Veins, it is the one of the tubes that carry blood from the parts of the body back to the heart. Superior vena cava, a large vein that carries the oxygenated blood into the heart. And inferior vena cava, a large vein that receives blood from the lower extremities and delivers it to the right atrium of the heart. The following are the organs that involves in the circulatory system. First of that is the heart. Heart is a hollow muscular organ that pumps oxygenated blood to the body and the oxygenated blood to the lungs. There are four chambers of the heart, the left atrium, left ventricle, right atrium, and right ventricle. Next is the blood vessels. It is the connecting tubes throughout the body. The three major types of these includes the arteries that carry blood from the heart, veins that carry blood into the heart, and capillaries that are tiny vessels that connect the arteries and veins. It is also where the exchange of nutrients and oxygen takes place. Our own blood consists of liquid, known as plasma, and solid particles known as formed elements. The three types of these are the red blood cells which carry oxygen and carbon dioxide throughout the body, the white blood cells which helps to protect the body from diseases, and platelets that release the substances that enables blood to clot. Now, let's proceed to the process of circulatory system. During this process, the blood follows two routes, the systemic circulation and pulmonary circulation. From the left side of the heart, blood full of oxygen is pumped into the systemic circulation. This blood leaves the heart through the aorta. A number of major arteries branch off the aorta and in turn branch into smaller and smaller vessels finally implying into the tiny capillaries. There, oxygen leaves the blood and enters the tissues through the thin capillary wall. Eventually, the blood enters the right side of the heart through the two large veins, the superior vena cava, which carries blood from the head and arms, and the inferior vena cava, which carries blood from the trunk and legs. That's how our blood disseminates throughout our body. This ends my short tutorial about circulatory system. I hope you learned something on it. Please click the link below to take the examination. Thank you and God bless.